In this video, we're going to look at probability equation questions. So in these questions, we're merging two topics together. So we're looking at probability trees and we're looking at using algebra to solve equations at the same time. So in this question, it says there are four red counters and X blue counters in a bag. Two counters are removed from the bag at random. The probability that both counters taken are red is 1 11th. Work out the value of x. So we're going to draw a probability tree. So if we draw a quick probability tree here. So we're taking two counters out the bag. So we can either take a red or a blue at first and then after we take a red we can take either red or a blue and if we took a blue again our options would be red and blue so we're starting with four red we're starting with x blue so how many counts have we got in total to find out how many counts in total we just add up how many reds and how many blues we've got. So we've got four plus X counters in total. So if we've got four red counters and we've got four plus X in total, we can say the probability of getting a red the first time is four out of four plus X. The probability of getting a blue counter first is x out of 4 plus x. So now let's say we've removed a red counter. So we've removed the red counter from the bag. So if there's one less red counter, that means there's three reds now. And if there's one less in total, 4 plus x minus 1 is 3 plus x. And if we remove the red counter, there's still x blue counters out of 3 plus x in total. If we remove the blue counter first, there's still 4 reds, but there's one less total, one less in total, so it's 4 out of 3 plus x. And if we remove the blue counter first, there's one less blue, so it's x minus 1, and one less in total, so out of 3 plus x. So the probability that both counters taken are red is 1 11th. So to get the probability of red then red, we multiply the probability of getting red first, with the probability of getting a red on the next one. So what we can say now is 4 over 4 plus x times 3 over 3 plus x is equal to 1 11th. So we're timesing across the branches. So the probability of a red the first time times the probability of a red the second time must equal 1 11th because that's the probability of red then red. So we've got our equation now. So now we're focusing on the algebra. So to multiply fractions, we times the top times the bottom. So 4 threes are 12. And we're going to have 4 plus x times 3 plus x on the bottom and that equals 1 11th so I want to get rid of these fractions I don't want these fractions so I'm going to multiply both sides by 11 so if I multiply my left side by 11 I'm going to have 11 lots of this so we could say it's 11 times 12 over 4 plus x 
times 3 plus x, and 1 eleventh times 11 is 1. So I've multiplied both sides by 11, and now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 plus x times 3 plus x. So that will just leave me with my 11 times 12, which I can change to 132. So I've got 132 equals, and then 1 times 4 plus x times 3 plus x is just 4 plus x times 3 plus x. So I've multiplied both sides by 4 plus x times 3 plus x, which means I've got 1 3 2, which is 11 times 12, equals 4 plus x times 3 plus x. So now I'm going to expand these brackets. 4 3s are 12. 4 times x is 4x. x times 3, or 3 times x, is 3x. And x times x is x squared. And I'm going to write the x squared term first. So I'm going to say I've got x squared. I've got 4x and I've got 3x, which means I've got 7x. And I've got 12, but I'm going to take... 132 away from both sides, so 12 take away 132, that's negative 120. So now I've got x squared plus 7x minus 120 equals 0. So I've got a quadratic, and I'm going to solve my quadratic by factorising. So we've got x in both brackets. We're looking for what multiplies to make 120, or negative 120, and adds to make 7. So what multiplies to make 120? We could write the factors down. So we've got 1 times 120, 2 times 60, 3 times 40, 4 times 30, 5 times 24, 6 times 20, there's a lot of factors, it's not in the 7 times table, 8 times 15, which is going to be the one we want, could keep going, we've got 10 times 12. So which of these can add to give us a 7? It's going to be 8 times 15, and it's going to be plus... 15 minus 8. And that means that x equals negative 15 or x equals 8. Is it possible to have negative 15 blue counters in a bag? Let's say it's not. So x cannot be negative. Therefore, x equals 8. Okay, here's a different question. So this time, we've got n counters in the bag. So in total, we've got n counters. Six are red, and the rest are blue. So red is 6. How many blue have we got? So to find out how many blue we've got in terms of n, we can say we've got the total take away 6. So n minus 6. So if in total we've got n counters, we've got 6 of them are red. So blue is the total take away six. Adam takes a counter from the bag at random and does not replace it. He then takes another counter at random from the bag. The probability he takes two red counters is one third. Show that n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. So we're going to draw a probability tree.
So we've got red and blue. So we've got red, blue, red, blue, and red, blue. So the probability of getting a red the first time, so we've got six red out of how many in total? N. So the chance of getting a red the first time is six out of N. The chance of getting a blue the first time is N minus six over N. Then if we took a red counter out, we've got one less red counter. So the chance of getting a red the second time is now five. And there's one less in total. So n take away one, well, that's n minus one. If we took a red counter the first time, there's still n minus six blue out of n minus one in total. If we took a blue the first time, there are six reds out of n minus 1. And if we took a blue the first time, there's now one less blue, so n minus 6 minus 1 is n minus 7 out of n minus 1 in total. So the probability that we get red then red is one third. So 6 over n times 5 over n minus 1 must equal one third. So six over n times five over n minus one is equal to one third. So we're going to multiply the fractions together. So we're going to times the top times the bottom. Six fives of 30. And that n times n minus one on the bottom. And that equals one third. So if I multiply both sides by three, so the left side multiplied by three will give me 90 over n times n minus one. And the right side times three, a third times three is one. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by n times n minus 1. So that will give me 90 equals n times n minus 1. So let's expand this bracket. n times n is n squared. n times negative 1 is negative n. And I'm going to subtract 90 from both sides. So n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. So find the value of n. So we're going to solve this equation. So we're going to, we've got a quadratic, we'll solve it by factorizing. So we've got n in both brackets. What multiplies to give me negative 90 and adds to give me a negative 1? So we can write the factors of 90, so 1 times 90, 2 45s, 3 30s, it's not in the 4 times table, we've got 5 times 18, we've got 6 times 15, it's not in the 7 times table or the 8 times table, and we've got 9 times 10. So we're going to use 9 times 10, what adds to give me a negative 1? plus 9, take away 10, so n equals negative 9, or n equals 10. We can't have a negative number of counters, so n cannot be negative. Therefore, n must be 10.